Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. We finally got some much-needed rain yesterday, not nearly enough to cancel the burn bans. Matter of fact, Dave Eves County in Indiana now under a burn ban. It was really one of the wetter days we've had in six weeks, and unfortunately it occurred on a Sunday. Fall festival weather, pretty typical. Nice fall-like temperatures and one or two warm days and one round of showers and thunderstorms. And once that goes on through, the festival may end on a downright cold note Saturday evening, but today very pleasant. High temperatures generally 70 to 75, a little cooler in our southeastern counties where the clouds took a little longer to clear out this afternoon. Tomorrow will be pretty similar, maybe a degree or two warmer, but uh, temperatures will be uh, pretty much status quo here until later in the week when we see a surge of warmer air ahead of that next cold front. Of course, live first warning Doppler radar is all dry. That'll be the case probably until sometime Friday. We could see a spotty shower Thursday, but the next a decent chance of rain will be unfolding either Friday afternoon or Friday night. But here's the rain we got over the weekend, and you can see it was heaviest in our southeastern counties, less than two tenths of an inch in Evansville. So you still need to water the lawn and the gardens if you still have all that uh, growing out there. Very little rain to the north, but where we needed the rain the, in our southeastern counties, I got upwards of an inch or two along and south of the western Kentucky Parkway. And I say where we, we all need it, but the drought is the is really the worst in our southeastern counties. So Hartford, Beaver Dam, Greenville, Central City got some decent rain at least here over the weekend. But right now, live view from downtown Owensboro on our American RV Tower camera on a seasonably chilly October evening. There's a live view from the east side of Evansville and the temperature down down to 52. That's our low for the day. The coolest we've been so far this season was 51 a few nights ago. We'll easily surpass that tonight. Winds are calm right now and Already 47 on the outskirts of Henderson. Fairfield's at 49. Dixon's at 50. Morganfield's at 48. So I think overnight lows will be in the low to mid 40s. That sounds really cold, but our average low for this time of the year is 45 to 50. We just haven't been anywhere near the averages for most of this autumn so far, but that is certainly changing this week. The rain we saw yesterday is all pushing away to the east. And look at all this dry air to the west. And that's why we have a couple of very nice days on the way before the changes unfold for the end of the week. So Future Tracker, as we take you through the next couple of days, not much to look at here. Sunny skies for your Tuesday. High temperatures tomorrow in the low to mid 70s, just a touch warmer than today. And you can see about 73 in Carmi uh, for your Tuesday afternoon. Same for Owensboro, Madisonville, Santa Claus, Princeton. So fairly uniform temperatures around the area. And if you're heading to the Fall Festival tomorrow night, again, you'll need a jacket or a sweatshirt after the sun goes down with temperatures set to fall back into the 50s. And then as we head into Wednesday, mostly sunny, a little warmer, mid to upper 70s for the high. Although one model's coming in a little cooler for Wednesday, kind of a, a reinforcing shot of cooler but dry air. So I'm I'm going to keep the highs low to mid 70s right now for Wednesday. Just another nice autumn day and no problems for Wednesday night at the Fall Festival. Thursday, a mix of sun and clouds. The warm up kicks in. Looks like we'll top out around 80, if not the lower 80s. It may be a spotty shower, but most of the area dry. And we could top 80 again on Friday before this next uh, uh, cold front arrives, it looks like late Friday afternoon or Friday night. But overnight, 42 to 46 degrees. And for your Tuesday, sunny skies, much like today, 72 to 75 for the high. And on the seven-day forecast, high temperature for Wednesday, I've dropped it to 73. We'll see what the other model says that's coming in here within the next uh, hour. Uh, but still a nice autumn day, no matter how you slice it. Then we're up to around 80 on Thursday with a mix of sun and clouds. I've got 79 on Friday, but if we hold off the clouds in the front long enough, we easily get into the 80s. We're keeping it a weather aware day because we'll likely see a line of showers and storms. The fastest model brings it in Friday afternoon, the slowest model during the pre dawn hours on Saturday. So we'll see how that trends. But it gets out of here in time for a dry but chilly weekend. Saturday's high only 62 despite sunshine in the afternoon. Sunday morning, 39. Could be some patchy frost on the pumpkin out there first thing on Sunday. But in terms of fall festival weather, really the only problematic time would be probably late Friday afternoon or Friday night with that line of, of showers and thunderstorms. All in all, pretty good weekend. All in all, yes. All right, thanks a lot, yeah. Wayne.